Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Mai. I am a part-time reseller. So I also have a nine to five, do this on the side, and I make YouTube videos about it. So I do vlogs, hauls, and little videos like this. My life is geared towards sustainability and trying to live just a little bit more sustainable every single day. And reselling was just the start of that adventure. So today I'm gonna go through what I would tell myself if I just started reselling. If you would like to join along in this journey, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get started. So the first things first is you need to make a Poshmark account, Mercari account, eBay account. Now this video is gonna be mostly towards Poshmark because that is one of my main platforms right now. Um, and I'm not very super versed in the other ones. I still play around with the other ones here and there. So this one is specifically towards Poshmark. So if you've never made a Poshmark account, feel free to use my code. I believe it's shop my closet underscore. I will put it right here and it's always down in the description and you'll get, I believe $10 off your first purchase or something like that. I don't, I don't know. It's something like that. Um, but first things first you need is to sign up for Poshmark. Now you might think like, well, I don't have any items to sell. I promise you, you probably do. Look around your house, look around your car. Like you will find shirts you forgot about, accessories you don't use, bags you don't use. I'm not saying like go and sell everything, but you know, let's start with your house, see what you don't use anymore. Now that you have your items, you need to take a photo of it. So um, very important things about like Poshmark and taking photos is make sure you have a good background. This background can be completely white. I've seen some people do them behind the door. I've done them behind the door. I currently use a mannequin that you can't see because it's behind my lighting. Um, but I use a mannequin and then for pants, I actually just hang them up right there on a hanger and it has a nice little background. Yeah, you can see the plants and everything, but it's a nice simple background, not too busy, and you're still focused in on the actual item. That is absolutely one of the most important things. You need to be able to know what is being sold. Um, some people will have like a bunch of items in one picture and it's like, but what am I buying here? I need to know what I'm buying and what does it look like, exactly what it looks like. So make sure you're taking pictures of front, back, if there's any type of like, discoloration or marks or like a rip or something make sure you take a picture of that it's important to put it in the description but also important to like actually show it because you can say oh there's a hole but how big is the hole is it like this little teeny little hole that no one's gonna see or is it this ginormous hole that takes up half the shirt those are important to that's important to know now if the shirt is distressed just make sure you know like it's a distressed shirt so it does have holes it's part of the vibe, it's part of the shirt, like, you know, it's just how it goes. Um, again, with taking pictures, Poshmark does have all their pictures in a square. So if you're on an iPhone, just go to your pictures. You can go up and then it says four by three, I think is the automatic thing. And just go to square and it automatically does it so you don't have to go in and like change it. I used to do that because I didn't change it to square right then and there. So I would have to go in and then change it. And then sometimes it would cut off part of the picture and stuff like that. And then for jeans that are more like, you know, they're longer coats and stuff like that, I'll just pinch out, so zoom out, and you can get the whole item, but it's still in your square. So that is my little tip about square. I always use my phone. I know some people use a camera, but phone for me is just so much easier. I just then airdrop it to my computer, upload it almost perfectly, and we are good to go. Now, another very important thing, which you might see right here, is lighting. Lighting is super important. I use these if I'm photographing at night, if I'm photographing, you know, when the sun's not very out. The sun in this room, now it looks really nice, but this is in direct sunlight. The sun is currently above me, or a little bit more that way. Um, so the sun in my house goes from here to here in this room. So unless I'm photographing like four, three o'clock, the sun's not directly there. So sometimes I use the lighting for a little extra boost or if it's raining and stuff like that, it's nice to have lighting. So 
sometimes honestly just turning on your overhead lighting is more than enough just kind of depends on what lighting you have in your home but natural lighting is always the way to go it's always the best lighting okay perfect now you have your listing or your photos ready now you need to do a listing in that listing you want to put the brand name you want to put what it is at the top you know the the key words is it long sleeve short sleeve is it a dress is it a shirt are they pants you know brand is also very important because some brands sell faster than others some brands sell more than others um so if you just have this rando brand you might want to do it because it might be a niche brand um i always put the brand what it is and then if i still have characters left i do more of a description but at the same time i'm not spending hours doing the description i'm not spending hours writing the title because in theory in theory you are looking at the pictures so you can see what it is um so i don't put the color or anything on there it's kind of like a weird or out of the ordinary color that i need to describe a little bit more but otherwise poshmark does have an option that you put the color so there's no need to start explaining what color blue it is there are pictures for a reason um so now when you're listing some people do measurements some people don't i personally do measurements because i get tired of the questions um but when i first started i didn't do measurements and i still sold things i would just measure as we go but now that i have much more inventory um sometimes it's a little bit harder to like dig through everything to find something but yes now one little last tip when you are um listing something especially if you have something on your mobile device like if you're buying through mobile device which i usually do is that put your best picture as your first picture and that same picture or one of your best pictures at the bottom at the bottom <laughs> so put that best picture at the top and put that best picture at the bottom because when you're scrolling and i'm looking at the description i still see that bottom picture so you don't want like the picture of the hole or the picture of the stain being that last picture and then as i'm reading the description i'm like oh yeah i want it and then i look up and it's like oh it's got a stain i still remember the stain that i was okay with at first but now it's just like in my face and i just I, I don't want it anymore um so those are my little tips and tricks and how to list on poshmark now in order to get an item sold poshmark is very particular they like they try to be like a community-based app and website so they really want you to share your items don't worry about sharing other people's items i know people like ride or die you need to share people's items you need to follow people you don't need to i'm sorry you really don't um just share your items that is the most important thing you could do is share your items so you're sharing and sharing and sharing and your items are still aren't sell selling you've had your items there for a couple days think about relisting your item so relisting is just exactly that doing a new listing with the item don't forget to delete the old one um just so it comes up as just in just new and stuff like that and it will help the algorithm be like oh they're still posting so if you want to and you want to be consistent about this and you're trying to sell start with two items a day just list two items a day list three items a day something short i try whether i'm listing that day or not i try to relist 10 items a day that's just my base 10 items a day and it just keeps the algorithm happy with me that's all it really does now for the little bit more advanced here uh, if you are trying to do this full-time or part-time as a side hustle you know you want to get money this isn't just about getting stuff out of your house minimizing you know whatever cross list cross list is a good form like i said at the beginning of the video i also use depop mercari and ebay um, I use them all kind of like off and on. I'm not very consistent on that. Um, but if you're consistent, you'll get sales. That's just kind of how it goes. Um, sometimes some platforms are better for other people than others. Depop has been pretty, you know, I'm getting likes and stuff like that. I got one sale in the first week I started listing. Some people don't get sales for six months. It just kind of depends. You kind of, It's kind of a guessing game. You have to play around with everything and see what happens, what's good for you, where your inventory. Um, so just kind of mess around with different different platforms and see what gets sold for you. 
a very very important thing when it comes to reselling is this beautiful quote if it's not listed it's not selling and that's just how it is if it's if it's just sitting around it's not gonna list um, the reselling community uses the death pile some people use the money pile regardless it is a stack of inventory that is not listed so it is either just money sitting there you can see it that way money pile or it's your death pile it's just there it's dead it's not moving it's not going anywhere um, so make sure that you are listing your items in order for them to actually sell that's just kind of how it goes now if you want to get a step further you want to keep on doing this look for local places to sell I know some people I've done flea markets in the past some people sell like little booths I've never seen one around me that I could like put items up but that also seems fun um, I would probably definitely do that if I found one around me um, it's more like a brick and mortar but you're just renting out like a little space which seems pretty cool like that's very interesting to me um, but again I've never done that so you might have to look for other people <laughs> that um have done it before for more advice on that but i know that is an option out there flea markets are a ton of fun to do i've done a couple with my cousin and i would love to get back into them and when it comes to getting inventory there's so many places you can get inventory there's a facebook market there's goodwill salvation army any thrift store tell your family they probably have cleaned out their closet or need to clean out their closet and you'll just give them that little kick in the butt to do that and be like, hey, just give it to me before you give it to don donations and maybe I can sell some of it. You don't need to tell them that last part if you don't feel comfortable. But you can tell them, be like, hey, hand it over to me and I will I will deal with it. I will send whatever I don't use at, you know, to Goodwill or wherever you donate. And then the rest of it you, you use. And that's, I've done it a couple times with family members or when my mom cleans out her closet, she lets me look through it before she gives it to donation so it's an easy and nice way to just get some inventory now the last step which i'm i'm not always the best at um but for some brands i really do try and it's searchability so make sure you have that you know you have the brand name but what is the item does the item have an actual name it's not just a dress is it a perfect example would be a love for love and lemons I believe it's the name yeah for love and lemons dress that i recently thrifted it sold within a week and i think part of that is because i searched it i googled it and i made sure i found the name so i didn't put for love and lemons dress i put for love and lemons i believe it's gianna dress sold within a week over a hundred dollars right there searchability it really does help especially for like lululemon is it a line is it this is it that I don't know a bunch of Lululemon I have to google them all the time um but what is the name of the jacket what is the name of the dress those search abilities because honestly if I see something I want I go and I google that and I go the Gianna dress for love and lemons Gianna dress I go shop and I see if it's on Poshmark if it's on Mercari if it's on eBay I search those places first but I'm looking for a specific dress so just a little tip out there, searchability. Searchability is very important. Now, those are all the tips I kind of have for you and how to start selling on Poshmark. If you would like any more like particular ones or if you as a reseller know any, just put them down below and we can all kind of learn together a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is my video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.